These are the papers that I just got from my doctor proving that I have ADHD. I've been struggling with ADHD my entire life. Until I was in my 20s, I had no idea that I was previously diagnosed with this. And for the first time ever, a doctor actually listened to me about my daily struggles, about my energy issues, about everything, and just went, yeah, that's ADHD. I've never, ever had a doctor actually validate it. When I was a kid, I had a very abusive brother, so I don't remember a lot of my childhood. The vast majority of it is just gone. When I was in my 20s, I heard stories from my parents. Oh yeah, you were diagnosed with ADHD when you were a kid. Oh, we put you on a medication, but it didn't work. It kind of snowed you, so we took you off of that. And They apparently never talked about it, except to doctors, for the rest of my childhood. I've been unmedicated for over 30 years for ADHD. It has affected every part of my life. I have been nearly fired from jobs because of ADHD. I've even told my employers that I've had ADHD. And there are certain things I have to do to stay on task. And I almost got fired for those. I deal with memory and task issues on a daily basis. And now finally, 30 years later, I'm getting validation. I'm getting medications. I have, I finally have somebody, a professional, that understands what I'm going through on a day-to-day -day basis and the solution to fixing that. So I just got my diagnosis earlier today. I have my papers. I showed you those at the beginning of the video. And in less than an hour, I go pick up my prescription. Uh, they're starting me on Vyvanse. So if you don't know what Vyvanse is, it's another one of those stimulants similar to Adderall. One of the things about stimulants is they've never actually worked for me. They never made me more alert or more hyper or any of that stuff. I could drink an energy drink, one of those big tall boys, and go take a nap. And I've been that way my whole life. Um, when I was a kid, my parents used to complain about me drinking Surge. They said I'd be more hyper after drinking Surge, but the evidence nowadays disproves that. I talked with my dad recently about my behavior as a kid and why it points to ADHD and why he should have gotten tested for ADHD. All of that aside, I am going to follow this video up, probably in the same video, and put this out on the internet later on after I've done a full workup of everything. Uh, after I've taken my first medication to give you an idea of what's going on in my head. So this is me before taking Vyvanse. My, as you've seen, my conversation, my information, everything's all over the place. I jump between topics. I have weird pauses. I have to decide what to say in my head before I say it, otherwise it comes out a jumbled mess. I have task regulation issues. I have, what's that called? Executive dysfunction issues. I have task management issues at work. It's all just, it's gotten to the point where I'm tired of it. I'm so tired, so tired of being off task when I know I have things I have to do and they're just not getting done because this stupid thing up here keeps going, nope, mm -mm. I will come back after I've taken my first round of meds. It might be later tonight or sometime tomorrow and continue this video, but for now, just know that I am ecstatic to finally have a piece of paper in my hand that validates my struggles for my whole life, for 30 fucking years. I'm, I'm For 30 years I've been putting up with this, with nobody believing me, nobody validating me, nearly losing jobs. I'll be back with more information. Man, getting that first prescription of Vyvanse was a pain in the ass. Though so the the pharmacy told me after the 
order was put in that I would have the meds in hand in about an hour after the order. But with uh, everything going on with all of those ADHD meds and the shortages and stuff like that, it took them nine hours to get my order ready. On top of some insurance problem, but that's not a big deal. So about a half hour ago, I took my first med. I took my first dose of Vyvanse, and I honestly have no idea what to expect. Uh, I was told that if whether you take it before or after your breakfast will determine how long it lasts, uh, how quickly it kicks in, and all that stuff. So I opted for after breakfast, which means it sits on top of your food and it doesn't get through your system, it doesn't get pushed through your system very fast so it's a long-term release it stays in your bloodstream longer it stays in your brain longer uh, but if you eat after taking the med it's pushed through faster it's metabolized faster it kicks in faster but it dissipates faster so I opted for the one that lasts longer throughout the day it's currently 9 20 a.m. I've been awake since 5 o'clock this morning uh, kids woke up early. I'll check back in in a couple hours, we'll say. And I'll let you know how Vivance feels, at least from my, from my perspective. For what happens in my brain. I honestly don't know what to expect. I have no idea how it's going to affect my brain. I've never taken a medication that is supposed to make my brain quiet. You know? So... This is going to be interesting. I'll, I'll be back. I didn't get a chance to record this earlier because I had kids in my office all day. Ugh, the joys of working from home. So I don't know if they have me on the wrong strength of the medication or, or what's going on. Because while, yes, I'm able to do tasks and focus on things, I'm, uh, it's, it's not quiet up here. <laughs> There's still bees. So while I do feel some effect from the Vivance, it does give me a weird, not quite loopy, but um, a lighter feeling. I'm not as grumpy as I was. So while it's working, I, I can feel something. I, I know something's going on. I'm able to focus a little better. It's not life-changing. It's not... Oh, the, the voice, all the noise in my head is gone. I can definitely tell it's in my system. I can feel it. Like there's a, a tightness, not a tightness, but it's, it feels weird right here, right here. I am processing thoughts clearer with less interruption in my head, but there's still like songs stuck in my head, repeating phrases. It's not as life changing as I've seen some people report. But they have me on the lowest dose, so there's that. <laughs> Given this is my very first day, my very first time ever taking this medication, I don't know if I just have to get used to it, or if it's uh, one of those things where I'm not on the right dosage or whatever, but it's, it's doing something. I just can't pinpoint what. Once this is done, I'm probably going to show this video to my doctor. Later on, I won't make dedicated videos just to ADHD stuff. I'll put updates in my videos, my regular gaming videos, of what's going on while I'm gaming kind of thing. Uh, it's just, I, I figure this is a big enough change in my life where I should probably make a video by itself addressing everything. I'll probably be back tomorrow, continuing on this video after I've taken a second dose and see how brain does. Well, I didn't get a chance to record this earlier today. Today was super busy with work and kids coming in the office, but there's a few day two things that I need to, I need to go over for the ADHD meds. I took the meds a little bit early today, at about 8.30. I started feeling their effects and really kicking off around Oh, 9.30-ish. Throughout the course of the day, I was finding that I was seeking tasks, not just, you know, sitting there doing nothing. Yesterday was a really easy day at work. My boss didn't bother me for anything. My, 
I, okay, so I have three bosses, technically, and all three of them have their own priorities. They they all ask for different things at different times, and usually, sometimes they'll ask for different things at the same time and treat each thing as priority one. That's not usually a big deal because one person wants something super simple, and I can tell the other one that, hey, I'm working on this simple thing real quick, and I'll get to yours shortly. Uh, and usually that works. Sometimes they'll all give me super high priority tasks that are all really difficult and long tasks. And while it's not a huge deal, it normally frustrates me to the point where I get really angry and frustrated with work and have choice paralysis of what to do next and managing tasks and getting things done. And that happened today where two of my three bosses both gave me a both difficult and long task and both of them told me it was priority one and both of them wanted it today. Usually when that happens, I get super frustrated. I, I lash out, I, not at my boss, but I'm really hard on myself. I, I get really short tempered with kids and frustrations and stuff. And while on the meds today, it didn't happen. I was able to manage the tasks and get them done satisfactory to my bosses before the end of the workday. After the workday, while I was cooking dinner, I realized that's what happened, is a day that normally would have made me super frustrated and pissed off and complaining to my wife and all that stuff. I literally just got through it without an issue, without getting mad at it. I did the things in an organized and timely fashion. Uh, it's the first time that's actually happened in years. And this is just day two. I wonder what, you know, four weeks from now is gonna look like. Because on top of my work, I, I've edited three YouTube videos. I made four thumbnails. I did some planning for my next video. I did considering streaming on YouTube again. Like, what? <laughs> I, I quit streaming because of the stress and now with these meds I might I just might be able to handle it and for to me that's nuts so this will be the last update I make uh, in this video so you, you guys don't have to sit through any more of these ADHD updates I'll just put them in my videos whenever I go to record a new video or something if anything changes or whatever today made me realize just how lost my thoughts were I'm generally happier on these ADHD meds. I think that's cause for celebration. So thank you for sitting through all this. I know it was kind of a slog to get through. I appreciate all of you who support the channel, support me personally. And my goal and the meds and my newfound, my newfound ability to manage tasks my goal by the end of this year, I want to hit 4,000 watch hours so that I can finally monetize my YouTube channel and maybe have the possibility in the future of making this my full-time job. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you everybody for supporting me. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.